So I usually say good morning. It is not the morning. It is afternoon. It's about two o'clock on a Tuesday. We partied it up hard for Memorial Day. The birthday was a success. The plants, people love them, took them home. So I am excited to be spreading some of the wealth. Um, I'm in my garden. I'm going to make a quick bouquet. I'm going to pick things that are, excuse me, I'm eating watermelon. I cut it for my children and then I brought a whole bowl down for myself because I'm greedy. Anyways, I am probably going to cut stuff that's already blooming um, just because I want something for the house. I cut a few bouquets for the birthday party and sent them home with people, so it was really exciting. I've got Lupin going bonanza. Um, more and more keeps coming up, and some of them have gone to seed. I see one right over here. It's super fuzzy, um, and eventually that will go dark it'll dry up the seeds will fall out and it will reseed itself i don't think i want that because we still plan on doing a heck of a lot to this garden and trying to keep it a little bit more maintained so i will be deadheading those soon plus it will allow more blooms to come that's exciting that's attractive so oh, pretty crazy they keep popping up everywhere. What I'm excited for though are the peonies. They're like closed one day and the next day they're like poof, huge. There's a poppy behind me. It is my favorite flower. I don't know why. It's always been my favorite flower. And this is one of the first times that I've ever seen a poppy in real life. Isn't that weird? I just love how flowy they are i love how beautiful they are i will not be picking it because i just can't bring myself to cut it i i think it is the most gorgeous flower this one is so established it's got a nice thick stalk and just oh, it's got this beautiful purple pollen in it bright orange cups it's got these pretty i don't know like little hairy seed heads before they blossom this is awesome so anyways i'm gonna see what's around there are some irises the siberian irises are almost all in bloom um like i said some lupin there's bearded irises there are some lilacs still on the lilac bush over here that's in the shade the big one that's behind me over to the right is kind of dying off um I might pick some, I think it's wild bergamot. It smells like oregano and it, it, it's amazing. I love it. What else is blooming? There's Shasta daisies everywhere. Daylilies are up. And I thought that if I cut the daylily, put it in a vase, that it would, you know, the one would close. And if there was other ones that were kind of close to opening that they would open, but then the other ones that were super tight wouldn't open, they all did. So I don't know if that's a random thing or if that's a regular thing, but the day lilies have been in the vase for over a week and they just keep opening up. I will cut the ones after a day and simp them right off and toss them in the compost and the other ones just open up. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's it for flowers. I have got some hostas that are huge. Um, I've got blue ones. I've got variegated ones. So I might cut a couple leaves of those. The ferns really don't hold up in the vase, so I'm not going to cut those, or at least the ostrich fern. I think that's what I cut. I don't know. There is so much in this garden. It is not even funny. Um, I saw some dame's rocket coming up outside of the fence, but I'm guessing a lot of what's in here is also dame's rocket. I might do a video on that because dame's rocket and flocks look very, very similar, but dame's rocket, at least in Wisconsin, is considered an invasive flower species, weed, I don't know. So if any of it is in the garden, I am going to be pulling that. This space is too precious to let it go to I don't know weeds I mean they're really really pretty but mm, not pretty enough I need to find a place for some of my starts I did have zinnias I found some old calla lily bulbs which I put in the ground I don't think they're gonna do anything because they were pretty dried out um, and then 
everyone. I don't know, but I want to find a place for those as well. Oh, okay. I'm gonna choke my watermelon. I'm gonna eat my watermelon. I'm gonna get my butt off off of this bird feeder because I'm sitting on a bird feeder, a plastic one. It's cracked, well, it's cracked now for me sitting on it. But I brought it down here one day when it was super rainy. I knelt on it, it's broken. So now it's my garden seat. Baby is sleeping. Kiddos are doing, cho doing chores. I really shouldn't be eating while I'm talking to you, but you know what? Anything goes today, anything goes today. It's today after a long weekend. I'm gonna make a quick bouquet. I'm gonna find some greens to put in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm. One of the things that I put in a bouquet, Solomon Seal, gorgeous. I was really hesitant about it when I first saw it come up. I was like, uh, another, fl another like hostile looking thing. Another thing with like little white flowers because we had things growing all over and I was like, eh, boring. Even after they bloom, they are gorgeous and they look so stunning in a bouquet. So I am gonna grab a couple of those. really need to bring a bucket down here next time. So pretty. OMG. It takes over the whole screen. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. My god, it's hot out here. Okay. Fillers, spillers, and thrillers. Love it. Except I'm gonna add another one. Ooh. Shadow. Okay, I'm good. Um, you know how they say thrillers, fillers, so thrillers are like the big ones, or like a spike or something, um, and then they have fillers, and then, so that's like your greens, and they have spillers, ones that kind of like drape over, but I'm adding a new one. I think there should be frillers. That's like something that has frill, like fill. But like the lil part is maybe small flowers. Does that make sense? Thrillers, fillers, spillers, and frillers. I think so. I really like how like teeny tiny semi-closed flowers look in bouquets. Is that weird? Probably. Bogas, bogas. What is this little guy? I don't know, but I like the color. This isn't even as big as they come over here. I love it. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's great. Have I ever told you the story about how my phone is on my really old stand connected with a rubber band?
two, one, and go. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. It's the afternoon. Maybe it's not the afternoon where you are, but it is where I am. Mm, mm, mm. Don't you love it when you get a good watermelon? Mm. I've heard like so many tips and tricks on how to pick a good one. I can never pick a good one. But when I get a good one, mm. it's my favorite thing. Actually, I don't get a smoothie out of this. Like, cut it up, chill it overnight, fill up your blender or whatever, maybe two thirds of the way full. I add like a cup of fresh strawberries, another cup of fresh raspberries, and then like two, like the juice of two limes, like the whole thing. Ugh. It is the most decadent, like refresher, smoothie, watermelon drink out there. It is so good.